Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle Business Intelligence 11G. Now there's several ways of performing an install. Uh, one of them is the simple install where you have everything on the same machine. Now this is a great setup if you just want to set up at home and play around with OBIEE. Now of course in a production environment, it's going to be a slightly different architecture, but that's beyond the scope of this video. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you already have an Oracle database set up. I recommend having Oracle 11G Release 2. So let me just show you what this looks like. I'm going to uh, just do a select status from vdollar instance. Um, I'm actually logged on as the sysdba and you see that my database is open and um, the name of my Oracle instance is ORCL. Now OBIEE is database driven so if you don't have a database this is not going to work at all. The other thing you need to do is make sure that you have the appropriate system settings for your database. Now if you don't have DBA privileges you might need to talk to your uh, database administrator about this uh, but what I did was I, I made some quick notes on this. I'm just going to open this up with notepad and uh, the settings here, you need to make sure that your number of processes is 500, your open cursors is 800, and sessions is 250. So if you perform the default installation of Oracle 11G database, um, you will definitely have to change these values. So let me just show you how to do that. You would make sure that you're logged on as the sysdba, and you would simply say, alter system, set processes, equals, 500 and you want to say scope equals sp file which means these changes will take effect after you shut down and restart the database. I'm going to do the same thing for the next two here so set open cursors equals 800 Now some parameters let you change them dynamically, some require that you change them in SP file, but regardless, um, these will all take effect once we bounce the database. So the next thing you want to do is shut down the database. So doing a startup force simply does a shutdown abort and then it starts up the database. So I'm going to go ahead and issue that and then uh, we'll let that do its thing. Okay, so while that's uh, starting up, I'm going to take this out of there and let's take a look at the downloads. If you go to Oracle's website for business intelligence, they're going to have different downloads for you. I'm on Windows 7, so there's actually five pretty large files that I need to download. Actually, there's six. One of them is called the RCU. It's basically the database repository creation tool. And let me show you where that is. Under OBIEE, I have all my downloads here. Here's my RCU right here. There's only one file for that. Notice that it's a zip file. And then I have these five files here. The next thing you want to do is make sure you extract these files to somewhere on your operating system level. Let me open up my DOS prompt so you can see this. After I extracted that RCU zip file, I actually extracted it directly under my D drive. And if you do a DIR here, you'll see that there's a bin directory right up here. I'm going to CD to that bin directory. And then under there, you'll see this file called rcu.bat. Okay, so first of all, you make sure that your database is up and running. And mine is, let me make this window a little bit smaller. And now I say rcu.bat, or you can double click on it um, from your uh, graphical interface. And so here's our screen here. You'll see that we have a couple choices. We can create and load component schemas into the database or remove existing ones. We don't have any existing ones. Let's just stick with create. So we'll hit next and it asks us for information about the database. So my database is on localhost, port 1521. The Oracle service name is ORCL and my sysdba is sys and I'm just entering my password. It's just going through prerequisites. Okay, looks like we passed. Now, what do we want to create? We're only interested here in business intelligence. 
But of course, later on, you could run this again and add more if you wanted to. So uh, let's just stick with that and then hit OK. And what passwords do you want to use? I'll go ahead and create the same password for a bunch of uh, for these two different users here. You'll see here that we have dev MDS, that's for metadata services, and we also have dev underscore BI platform. When we install OBIEE, it's going to ask us what the schema owner is going to be called, and that's the name. So here it's just saying that it's going to create these table spaces that correspond to that. We'll just stick with the defaults and hit next. Just hit OK after that warning. And now it's creating the table spaces right now. Our operation completed. Let's hit OK. And now we can hit Create. And it's actually creating the schema objects. Give this a minute or two. This might take about five minutes, so be patient. OK, it is complete. So now we hit Close. Now let's take a look at the downloads for the OBIEE. Use some kind of zip extractor and extract it to anywhere on your hard drive. I put mine directly under my D drive. Check this out. Here's my BI ship home. And once I extracted it, it gave me these five folders here. I'm going to drill down into my disk one. And here's the setup. So all you need to do is double click on it and run it. It's going to give you this nice little splash screen. Wait till we get the GUI interface. Okay, here's our nice little splash screen. We're going to hit next. And we're going to skip the software updates. And we're going to perform a simple install. We pass the prerequisites. And I'm going to put my middleware home directly under my D drive. I'm just going to call mine BI Pub. You can call yours anything you want. Just remember where you put it. And the username, I'll stick with WebLogic. We're actually creating a, an administrative user for the WebLogic server. And I'm putting in a valid password. And they have the rules down here as far as uh, what is a valid password. So we're going to install all these components, the Enterprise Edition, as well as BI Publisher and Real-Time Decisions. And here we have the database type as Oracle, our connection string. I'm going to be on localhost. My port number is 1521, so separate those by colons. And my instance name, or my service name, is ORCL. And here it's asking for our BI platform schema username. So remember, we had dev underscore BI platform, that schema user we created. And then we're going to provide the password that we set up. And now hit Next. Next screen almost looks identical. Now it's just asking about MDS schema username. We can stick with the default here. And there's the same password. Uh, just to make sure, I'll just re-enter it in there. And then we hit Next. I'm not going to be provided with any updates. So it'll give me a nice little warning. Or do we want to remain uninformed? Yes. OK, so now we just go ahead and hit Install and just wait a few minutes. And then it should be complete. Now, as I mentioned, you'll need to be pretty patient because that last step might take well over an hour. Well, that pretty much wraps up our installation of Oracle Business Intelligence 11G. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, where we're going to just cover the very basics of setting up your OBIEE 11G environment. Thanks a lot for viewing. I hope you learned a lot. I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Please visit us at www.fireboxtraining.com.